morning, everyone. It's Miss Stephanie. Welcome to Storytime. Today we are going to be talking about rainbows. Uh, first, we're going to do a hello song. We're going to do a different one from the last time. I'm going to use the same hello song as Miss Jillian and Miss Anna, actually. So here we go. We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. With all our friends at story time, we clap and sing hello. And then we're going to stomp. We stomp and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello. With all our friends at story time, we stomp and sing hello. Now we're going to wave. We wave and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. With all our friends at story time, we wave and sing hello. Very good. Okay, next we're going to do our spring song that we did the last time where we do the sun is shining bright, the rain is falling down, and the flowers start to bloom. So you use your hands so the flowers are blooming. The sun is shining bright, the sun is shining bright. Oh, how I love the warmth, the sun is shining bright. The rain is falling down, the rain is falling down. Oh, how I love the sound, the rain is falling down. The flowers start to bloom, the flowers start to bloom. Oh, how I love the sight, the flowers start to bloom. Great job, everyone. Next, I'm going to do a flannel story for you, and it's called Rainbow Stew. Now, some of you may have heard this one. If you have, the first verse is it says it's take an apple, but I don't have an apple, so I'm using a strawberry instead. But um, other than that, everything else is pretty much the same. So here we go. Take a strawberry, put it in the pot, stir it, stir it, stir it a lot. Take it out now, what will it be? The prettiest red you ever did see. Take an orange, put it in the pot, stir it, stir it, stir it a lot. Take it out now, what will it be? The prettiest orange you ever did see. Take a banana, put it in the pot, stir it, stir it, stir it a lot. Take it out now, what will it be? The prettiest yellow you ever did see. Take a pear, put it in the pot, stir it, stir it, stir it a lot. Take it out now, what will it be? The prettiest green you ever did see. My green got a little crinkled. So now we're gonna take some blueberries and put them in the pots. You stir them and stir them, stir them a lot. Take it out now, what will it be? The prettiest blue you ever did see. Take some grapes, put it in the pot, stir it, stir it, stir it a lot. Take it out now, what will it be? The prettiest purple you ever did see. And what do you think we made? Can you take a guess? That's right, it's a rainbow. We just made a beautiful rainbow. And hopefully sometime this spring you will get to see a rainbow if it's raining and sunny at the same time. You can look outside and see if you can see a rainbow. All right, next we are going to do our 10 little flowers, where this is the one that you can count with your fingers. It's the, to the tune of the 10 little Indians. So I'm going to use my flowers up here, but you can use your fingers. And it goes like this. One little, two little, three little flowers, four little, five little, six little flowers, seven little, eight little, nine little flowers, 10 little flowers in the spring. Give them rain and lots of sunshine. Give them rain and lots of sunshine. Give them rain and lots of sunshine so they'll grow up tall. Good job, let's do that one one more time so you guys can really get to learn this one. And are you ready? Hold up your hands. Here we go. One, oops, one little, two little, three little flowers, four little, five little, six little flowers, seven little, eight little, nine little flowers, 10 little flowers in the spring. 
Give them rain and lots of sunshine. Give them rain and lots of sunshine. Give them rain and lots of sunshine so they'll grow up tall. Yay, everybody! Very nice job! Okay, so what we are going to do next, we are going to do another Jim Gill song. It's called The Color Song. Um, I thought that would go along with rainbows and learning colors and everything. So with this song, it's called The Color Game. And what you can do is you can find different things around your house of different colors. So you're gonna need red, blue, white, black, all the colors of the rainbow. And you can just use anything you want or you could just touch the part of your body that Jim is gonna tell us to do. There is also a YouTube video about it. Jim did not make it. It was a librarian from the library who made it but you can still watch it. It's still really fun. So I went around my house and I found some colors that we're gonna be doing. And you can always watch this again so you can grab the colors for the next time you do it. Or if you decide to watch Jim's video, um, then you can grab the colors that way too. And so here we go, just for something fun. Take red, red. put red. it on your head. Take blue. Put it on your shoe. Take black and a remote. Put it on your back. Take yellow. yellow. Put it on your elbow. Take white. And a piece of paper. Put it on your right. Take brown. Put it all around. Now here the game gets a little trickier. You'll have to think a little harder and just remember that things can be more than one color. Take the color of a rose. Put it on your nose. Take the color of snow. Put it on your toe. Take the color of sand. Put it on your hand. Take the color of cheese. Again, that's just something fun to do your colors. You can do it on the parts of your body. And then I have one thing to show you. Oh, I left it over here. It's a craft that you guys can do if you would like to. It's a rainbow craft. Looks just like this. My son made this one. And all we did is we just cut out two shapes, uh, cloud shapes on white paper, and I did two. And then just the rainbow strips in different color paper, so it's in the middle. And then we use dot art to color the cloud, but you could do markers or crayons or paint or whatever you would like. So just a fun little craft you could do for rainbows at home. And now we're going to do our goodbye song. And show, so you're gonna show me your hands. You can show me your feet. And my hands say goodbye with a clap, clap, clap. My feet say goodbye with a tap, tap, tap. Clap, 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 tap, tap, tap. I wiggle my fingers and say bye-bye. And I also will link the books that we you could do with this story time. I have Planting a Rainbow by Lois Eller, How Crayons Saved the Rainbow by Monica Sweeney, and The Little Raindrop by Joanna Gray. So those are some really fun books that are on Overdrive that you could uh, read along with the story time and just read at home. Um, I'm so glad you guys joined me today and hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.